In the seven years since BC has declared this emergency, First Nations communities across BC have lost too many loved ones to an increasingly toxic drug supply. And that loss of life is now more than 1,000 family members and friends. We have been disproportionately impacted throughout this public health emergency. As First Nations community members, how do we take in this news? How do we comprehend and make sense of these numbers? These numbers are people, people who loved and were loved. We cannot afford to lose any more, and yet we will continue to until we find more effective ways to respond to the current state of this public health emergency. I can't stand here before you today and talk about the people who died as brothers, sisters, aunties, uncles, mothers and fathers. I've done it for several years now and I can't do it today. I just can't do it anymore. What I can do is tell you about the empty spaces and places that the First Nations people who have died because of toxic drugs have left. The holes in families, the empty spaces around dinner tables, the empty seats at schools, the empty seats at workplaces, the empty spaces at longhouses, around the fires, on the land, and other ceremonial places. Over a thousand First Nations people who are no longer with us. The grief and loss is immeasurable.